What's up, people? Magic Sunday Man here, and today, man, lately it takes a lot for me to put out a rant video. But man, I was so inspired today. I just do not understand the Nintendo internet fan base. I don't know what's going on with it. If we're just afraid of powerful women and powerful roles. Man, I thought this would be like a dream come true, you know? So, I mean, long story short, Brie Lawson put out some pictures of her uh, cosplaying as Zero Suit Samus and how she really wants to start advocating for a Metroid movie. Holy crap, dude, that is amazing. That makes me so happy. Um, Metroid has always been one of my favorite Nintendo franchises. Um, I think in my heart of hearts, Mario Zelda Smash Bros. Mario Kart will always be the pinnacle in Nintendo. But man, Metroid is right there as well, man. And I think somebody with, with the star power and star quality, I mean, she's been nominated for an Oscar, for God's sakes. Um... Uh, Brie Larson, I mean, she wants to play the lead character in one of the most iconic female uh, powerhouses of all time. And just immediately, the backlash of just the sexist, like, I mean, some of the so, so, some of the comments I've seen is like, no, God, no, oh my God, I'm done with Nintendo, oh my God, if they do this, I will never play a Nintendo game again, F no, what is, what is wrong with you, what is wrong with you, I don't understand why, like, like okay, I understand some of y'all being upset because she made those comments about how she don't want no white man to interview her and all that crap. She only wants like colored folks to do it. Okay, whatever. I mean, I can understand you being offended because of that if you're a white if if you're a white man if you fall into that demographic. But I mean, I don't know. I feel like some. I mean, I, I'm a I'm a black guy and I feel like some stuff. You know, I just have to brush off my my, my shoulders. I mean, so I really think this is one of those things that I'm like, really? I, I think y'all should just let this, just, just let it go, man. I don't think it's that serious. I mean, if you really claim to be a huge Nintendo fan, such as myself, if you're really passionate about it, I just don't think this one is really all that serious, dude. I think you should really look deep within yourself and just be like, hmm. Aside maybe from me like not liking Brie Larson personally, I think it's grander than that. I think the potential to get a Metro movie made could be the pinnacle in changing the video game movie stereotype that all video game movies suck. And you know, and it's been some it's been some gems that have come out for some video game movies like the Resident Evil franchise. You know, I thought some of some of those were good. You know, the original Mortal Kombat. I thought that was really good. Don't get me started on Mortal Kombat Annihilation. That's probably one of the worst movies of all time. And I also thought, you know, the Prince of Persia movie was really good too. Uh, not perfect, <laughs> but not bad either. And and also, you know, Assassin I I enjoyed Assassin's Creed too. To tell, to tell you the truth, man. Now, Ratchet and Clank was kind of a was kind of a bomber because uh, clearly the only thing they did was just take clips and bits from the game and make a movie out of it. Yeah, that's extremely accurate. They just took cutscenes from the game and made it into a movie. Yeah. But yeah, man. I just I think that just the potential for this is just so grand that it's not even funny. I mean, we just got D D Detective P Pikachu, and that was a really good good movie. Not my favorite movie because I'm not the biggest Pokemon fan. But I feel like I mean, if you're any kind of a Pokemon fan, if you grew up with, with those games, and if you were at the pinnacle age of when Pokemon Red and Blue came out, the movie was great for for you. I mean, it had some really cool fight scenes between Pikachu. And Mewtwo has some Greninja action going on. And, you know, this could really be a start to maybe seeing a Super Smash Brothers movie. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, like, wouldn't that be so awesome? You know, have the first one be Detective Pikachu, and then we get a Metro movie. Then we get uh, a DreamWorks Mario movie, which they're still working on. Don't don't hold, forget that, they're, that they are still, the DreamWorks is still working on an animated Mario movie. And then the most, the, the, the 
next most logical choice would be a Zelda movie as well. So, man, just don't, you know, automatically shoot this idea down just because you don't like Brie Larson, the person. You know, just focus on Brie Larson, the actor, even though, I mean, honestly, Brie, Brie Larson is not my favorite actor either. You know, uh, I really like Captain Marvel, but yeah, her acting was a little bit bland in some of the parts. Uh, facial expressions, just emotional moments, you know, they were definitely lacking, but overall, it was really a good a good movie. So, I mean, if they can get the right production crew behind it, the right musical score, some great action scenes, maybe get the cast Ridley as somebody really good, too, get some really good voice acting, acting in there, get some really good CGI, make the suit look awesome. I mean, you can pretty much just take the blueprint for Iron Man and put it into the Chazzle suit for Samus. I think that would be amazing. That would look great, man. Just the potential is so high. I just please just don't, you know, be a sexist idiot <laughs> and just give it a just give it a chance, man. Especially if it gets off the ground, don't be it. Cause I know it's gonna be some people that's gonna be be trying to start those stupid protests and those. Do well, sign this if you don't want Brie Larson to play Samus. No, shut up, shut up, God, shut up. Just let it happen, man. Or just you know what? Just log off Facebook, log off social media, just ignore it and just. Let us have this. Let the real Nintendo fans have this. Okay? That's all I'm saying, man. If you don't like it, then don't showcase your emotion for it. Just keep it to yourself. <laughs> let the people who want it enjoy it and be happy about it. And let's let our dreams come true. And maybe in the next 10 years or so, if we get a Metroid movie and it explodes, then maybe... We'll even get to see some Metroid attractions at Universal Studios because you know that the Nintendo theme land is coming to all the major Universal Studios theme parks around the world, Japan, California, Orlando. Specifically, I'm closest to or, or Orlando, but I definitely still want to make the trip out to Japan when Nintendo Land opens up. It's going to have a Donkey Kong, a Mario Kart, a Mario, and a Yoshi-themed ride, I believe, with some Bowser Castle Mario Kart action, too. But, man, I don't want just Mario. I mean, like, okay, it's going to be awesome that it starts out with Mario and Donkey Kong and the clear uh, choices to start in Nintendo Land. But, man, how how epic would it be for us to get like a Zelda themed forest land or a space themed Metroid land or a Star Fox land or a Pokemon land or a Kirby land how awesome would that be so this is the type of stuff that us as Nintendo fans have to support so that shit like this happens <laughs> you get what I'm saying we have to support this stuff so that the good things continue to happen but if we shit on it, then it won't happen. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. So just hold it together. Keep it together. Let's support this. Hopefully it'll get off the ground. I mean, it's still in this infancy baby planning stages, but if it gets off the ground, there's no telling where this can go, man. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And with that, we will end this video. Now it is time to fire off in the comments below. How do you feel about Brie Larson being portrayed as the legendary bounty hunter Samus Aaron? Do you love it? Cool. Like this video. Do you hate it? That's not cool, but cool. Like this video anyways. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about why and what and if you don't Brie, and if you don't want Brie Larson to play the character, which actor with a similar you know, background and with a similar type of Hollywood power, would you choose to portray the character? That's all I'm saying. Let's make it happen, man. All right, and with that, if you uh, you can follow me at youtube.com slash myjack79. I am also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Until then, until the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.